Well, aside from ongoing conflicts in the Middle East, there's another threat our troops face. The suicide rates among veterans and active duty military members continues to rise. Our Misty Inglet takes a look at that increase in how one local man is trying to help. Research from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs show there were more than 6,000 veteran suicides in 2017, and that number has continually been on the rise since 2005. The most recent report from the Department of Defense also shows just shy of a 3% increase in veteran and active duty suicides in 2018. That increase is being felt locally, too, with the Suicide Prevention Hotline. We're going to make a statement to the country. Conrad Jeffries knows what it's like to struggle with depression and suicide. A Coast Guard and Army National Guard veteran, Jeffries is now making it his mission to help other veterans and active service members overcome thoughts of suicide. It's an extremely high problem in the society. Recent reports from the Department of Defense show about a 3% increase in veteran and active duty suicides between 2017 to 2018. The Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline is seeing the same percentage increase. The hotline uh, gets a lot of calls from veterans, active duty, and uh, military families. We had about 500 of those calls in the last quarter alone that we have stats for. It's about 15% of our overall call volume. Those calls include both combat and non-combat service members. One of the most interesting aspects of the calls we get from uh, people that identify themselves as veterans is that they don't feel they're deserving of services from the VA. Jeffrey sees similar mindsets among veterans. He says it's almost like a feeling of hopelessness, and that's what he wants to change. So on January 13th, he will be running from Los Angeles to Las Vegas to raise awareness about suicide rates among veterans, active military, and first responders. He's also running the 210-mile journey in honor of three sailors aboard the USS George H.W. Bush, who killed themselves last September. Jeffries also started Shot at Dawn, which is looking at ways to get at the root of veteran suicide. It's a way to identify what's actually killing us. What we've developed makes you dig in deeper. What else, what were the contributing factors? So we don't just mask or attack one problem. We attack the different layers that lead up to this. When it comes to Idaho veterans, that same report from the Department of Veterans Affairs shows 49 suicides in the state in 2017. It also shows the highest rate is between the ages of 18 and 34. And there are a lot of resources available to help veterans and military members who may be struggling. And I've put some of those resources on our website. Gretchen.